You are watching WBS TV. Thank you so much for joining me today on the journey. Thank you for being here. <laughs> it's a pleasure. I'm so excited about this interview. I've been looking forward to interviewing you, I have to say. And I'm at your shop, Nico the Donor Shop itself. And I'm very glad to say I'm wearing Nico. Fantastic jacket. <laughs> yes. Thank you. I love it. It's very slick. Mm -hmm. Very suave. And I love this stuff. I mean, it just keeps you warm, doesn't it? Well, of course. It of makes course. a difference in Britain, right? Because it gets cold here. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Hopefully, the, the, the weather is changing and soon we're going to turn into a nice summer. Indeed. Yeah. So London Fashion Week, huge event, a massive occasion. You've got fashion designers, fashionistas from all over the world. Everybody wants to be at London Fashion Week. Now, it was a special moment for you. Why? Because you were there yourself and your clothes were there. Your collection was absolutely fantastic. I was privileged and I have to be there in the front row and see your collection. Tell us about your winter collection. Oh, the winter collection was, um, I mean, you witnessed it. It was fabulous. It was very light, very flowy. Um, the female collection mixed with a bit of boys um, in between. Whoa, uh, that, yes. that is it. Of course, uh, now the gentleman you've seen there, well, I, I don't know, where, okay, he grew up that side, okay, he will tell me, but of course, uh, one thing you should note about him is that uh, he's uh, is a, a brother to the beautiful lady who got uh, married to Wasaja, of course, Princess Wasaja. Let me hope I'm very right. <laughs> anyway, hello, how are you doing? I'm good, thank I'm so you. happy to see you again. Thank you so much. Looking so smart and fabulous. If we can <laughs> get, you know, the camera, see the whole of in the shoes, the trousers, yeah. the core, you look very smart. <laughs> Thank you so much. I, I do my best, hey? <laughs> <laughs> the last time you told me that, uh, of course, uh, there are guys who dress you up and it's all free. You can always pick up any clothes that you want and then you just dress up for you, free. You know what? It's unbelievable. I get dressed by one of the best fashion designers in London. Yeah. He's a celebrity fashion designer <laughs> called Nick Caddy uh. And I'd walk into his shop. He dresses Katy Perry, Madonna. Yeah. Guy Ritchie, he dresses so many great celebrities and footballers as well, <laughs> and he gives me all these clothes for free. Yeah. It's, it's just it's up to some yeah. but you know I, I'm thankful for it. I think every single time I wake up and I have to pinch myself: <laughs> is this real? Is this reality? Uh, is it true? <laughs> is it true? Is it true? You have to pinch up yourself yeah. to see whether it is very real. Well, I don't know. By the way, on a serious note, because you know I always have good guys here, but you know time is always limited. And I'm like, oh my God, you know. But now, tell me, how was the wedding? The wedding was remarkable. My sister, Marinancha, got married to... Uh, no, let's go slow. Okay. Let's go slow. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. So basically, so I've got to talk about it and, and use my imagination. You've got to use your imagination too. Yeah. Okay, you didn't get the card, but you See can pretend you there. were there, right? Mm. So my sister, Marinancha, got married to her prince, Prince David Wasadia, mm. in the most extraordinary you know, spectacular wedding I've personally ever been to my entire life. Yeah. Okay, now I watched Kate Middleton's wedding in the UK mm. when she got married to Prince William. Yeah. But this was my sister. Yeah, Every young yeah. lady dreams <laughs> about one day marrying their prince. And it became true. It was a reality for my sister. Yeah. And it's what you call a modern day miracle. I mean, she married Prince Wasaja. And the occasion was tremendous. We, mm. I was in the entourage, in all the cars, yeah. as we're driving to the church. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, when the wedding was going on, I was like, let me be so observant and see my, my guy. I want to see my <laughs> guy, you know. But, uh, you know, it was, you know, people were very, 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 very many. But now, the last time you're here, you know, there's a gentleman that I was with here. And then he was doing uh, graphics, you know, and animations. Then I was like, why don't you do something for Uganda? You know, you guys stay the other side. You, you a presenter, like, you know, in the U.S. That's a, And I'm like... You know, at the end of the day, okay, the good thing he did is he made up something for you, Ghana, and it is here, the OBS, of course. Uh, he, the guy is doing cartoons, you know, for the OBS, so those are some of the cartoons that you get to see. But now you, what are you planning out for Uganda? You know, I've actually got a lot of ideas and things I want to do here in Uganda itself, but before I speak about those remarkable mm -hmm. ideas, I just want to say a massive congratulations to my sister, <laughs> Nancy Mary. Congratulations to yourself and Prince David. I am so happy to have you, Prince David Wasaja, as my brother-in-law, mm -hmm. uh, which is just remarkable, as well as His Royal Highness uh, Kabaka as well. So, uh, you know, I I'm amazed to be joined in this extraordinary family. Yeah. 
but speaking about okay before we go there now uh because uh, you, you've been you know you know congregating them because of uh, the wedding and everything now because uh it is buganda yeah buganda talking about uganda so i don't know you're going to say a sentence and you're like you know it was such a fabulous beautiful wedding in uganda wow <laughs> wow that, that that's a challenge right there <laughs> I left Uganda when I was four years of age. Yeah. And I, in fact, I, I, was, I was born in Uganda. I lived here for a year, lived in Kenya for two years, mm. lived back in Uganda for a year. Mm. Then I flew out to the UK and I've lived in the UK all my life. Wow. So I can understand about probably about 60% of <laughs> Uganda, but I can't really speak it. So that, yeah. that's, a, that's a tall order for me. But <laughs> I can say Oliocha. Oliocha. Is that okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay I can so say that. What are you 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 planning out for? I I really want you guys from that side, you know, do something for Uganda. Seriously, you know, we, we are having big talents, but they, <laughs> they just keep it the other side in the UK. And I'm like, you know, they should do something. So what are you planning out for Uganda? Well, you know, I I get invited all over the world as an international speaker. That I am, I'm a TV presenter, personality, mm -hmm. and the international speaker. I speak to congregations to thousands of people across the world, and I appear on mainstream TV mm -hmm. and all the channels and places I travel to across the world as well. I recognize that God has given me first and foremost a gift, has given me a voice, to be a voice to the voiceless. Mm -hmm. I understand that with the responsibility I've been given, that I should use it to be an influencer across nations across the world. Mm -hmm. But I believe that clearly, you know, I was born in Uganda, I believe that I have a responsibility to make an impact yeah. here in this nation. Mm -hmm. And so within my gifting as a TV presenter, as a personality, mm -hmm. and as a motivational speaker, it's my desire to actually produce and make uh, a number of television documentaries and programs yeah. here for Uganda itself. Yeah, that's, that is beautiful. Yeah. yeah, so I can actually use those to influence mm. a whole new entire generation here in Uganda. Do you know that um, the last time when we had a chat, uh, I got to learn something from you because me, I always want to learn. This gentleman here, you see, well, he's, uh, he's working on a, on a given TV in UK and it's a huge one. Well, uh, you can also go and do the YouTube. So I, I asked him, how can I improve this? And he was like, you know what? Always keep it short. You know, we have a program or Semba. You get people get tired of you. So it was like the maximum, make it 45 minutes and that is it. Or stay together. So it was something very beautiful because the next day you're coming, people are waiting for you. Okay, so generally, in case uh, now we are here and everyone is watching in across Africa, is there anything that you'd love to tell the people? Anything, anything? What I'd love to say is this is that in life, people see people like myself. They recognize that mm. I'm a presenter. I'm very successful within my field. Mm. But you've got to understand that before one has success, they go through what you call pain in life. Mm. Many of us in life dream of great things and becoming great people in life. But we fail to understand that actually to become a great man, you've got to go through some great pain in life. Last words. Yeah. I'd love to say that never be afraid to go through tragedy or go through uh, difficulties throughout life because your difficulties are for your promotion to take you to a greater place throughout life. So that's what I'd like to say. Okay, thank you very much. As I told you, Mbanebiya Khabi. Maybe Guayo, but now I'm very excited. Celebe, Oriwa Kavinyo, Charlie Charlie, Mushumba. Then, um, of course, I'm having a uh, Kasaija. You guys do really a great, great, great job. This is a live show to put up this thing, man. It is very hard, but you know, these guys come and they do it. Naughty boy, you're the best, gentlemen. Now, uh, now do you only have one sister? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> we don't, we don't. I want that dream to become reality, as simple as that, you know, it's not just in fashion, in any walk of life, in any sort of direction one wants to go, you know, if you want to become a photographer, if you want to go, become a presenter, um, if you don't believe in yourself, then nobody else will believe you. You are watching WBS-TV.